Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw the tick. The tick! Uh, you know, spoon! Anyways, let's get started. Uh, today I'm gonna be using a pencil. Let me sharpen it real quick. Pencil, doesn't matter what kind of pencil. I'm not even gonna tell you. Well, I'll tell you why not. It's a Prismacolor Verithin Blue Indigo. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of pencil. It's not really about that. So, let's go over the tick. Uh, first off, this character is so nostalgic to me you know I used to watch him on Saturday morning cartoons you know you, you know I, I read some of his comics but I want to go back and buy all of his comics I just have such a love for this character and it's very personal to me <laughs> you know because I think because I, I, I really like the live-action series it came out with and uh, yeah you know I miss this character a lot so anyways let me start out by doing a small his his head is not a normal head <laughs> you know it's shaped kind of weird it's more like a big box really so let's go. Well, this let's go over the way I draw it. I'm gonna draw a small circle. Hopefully, you can kind of see that. Can you see that a little bit? Hope you can see it. We're gonna draw that. One moment. Let me zoom in. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Yeah. So we draw like that, and I'm gonna draw outward right now as like a triangle almost like the sun's shining down and that's just for broad shade don't do this too thick hopefully you can just barely see that on camera and I am gonna draw right here bottom of his jaw straight line across I'm trying to get the lower portion of his jaw down and these, you don't have to worry about the exact angle, you know. I would actually draw the tick from reference first a lot. Because he is, uh, his head's pretty, you know, he's got very unique shapes in his head. It's not like basic 101 how to draw a head, you know. You gotta really draw him the way he was animated. And uh, he's got his own unique proportions that uh, you have to deal with. So a lot of it is just kind of cutting around and figuring out that his head is chin is pretty much a giant box you know I even moved his jaw back that way because I was thinking about it has to be closer to the neck and I'm not really sure what character to compare him to actually like because they're all pretty much based on you know famous characters him and his world they're all uh, they're like sp comic book spoofs and I have a box right here on the top one eye is gonna be higher than the other hopefully you can see what I'm doing here let me look through the camera yeah you can kind of see it Hopefully you can see it enough. I don't want to go down too thick because then I'm going to go into permanent lines. And he's got these, they always called him a bunny or whatever. Oh no, that was Arthur, right? Arthur was his assistant, he's a, who was a moth. He's a tick, like an animal. He's got these little antler thingies, which he was always uh, annoyed about when people got him wrong. And those are just C curves. I mean, to start off with, we need to get a general flow of where those things are going. Just general flow. Hopefully, you can, if you know the character, you can kind of see where I'm going with this. You can kind of see his shape already emerging. Then his, he's going to be smiling. I'm going to draw a box inside for his teeth. You know where his teeth are going to be. All right, let's start off. Let's start this. So, start with the eye. Bum, bum. Hopefully the right position. His eye is going to take up almost the whole space of that top box there. All right, his nose. Uh, I'm going to draw his nose first. His nose is pretty much tiny, and when you draw something tiny, especially on a character like this, it's done with a purpose. The purpose of drawing something tiny is to make the other features look huge, you know. Almost always. In contrast, it will look a lot bigger. He kind of looks like he has gigantism. He's got that same thing that other characters like Batman and Wolverine have, where they have a cloth over the nose, but since his nose is so tiny, really, it's hard to tell. Everything is so close. All the features, his upper features are very, very close to each other. The 
as I recall, the Tick, the only power he had was to be super strong, you know, and he was more of a fumbling kind of a hero where he would accidentally, just from sheer strength, would, uh, you know, do well. Although everybody else pretty much had, like, no powers, it seemed like. Or most of them. Man, I really miss the live-action series. Uh, I, I know that was really hated by a lot of people, but I, I loved it. It only lasted about seven episodes, and Patrick Warburton played him. Uh, Patrick Warburton is the... He does the voice of uh, Brock from the Venture Brothers, and he was also on that show Seinfeld. And uh, I thought he looked great as a tick. I thought he did a very good job. And the zygomatic arch, that's his cheekbone. It pulls all the way out to the outside, outer side of his face. Man, I'm getting nostalgia just drawing this character. Because I've, I've never really drawn this character, actually. You're witnessing the first time. Well, I guess I have to sketch it out for practice for this video. But, you know, this is one of the first, you know, I don't know. Those are all just sketches. I haven't done, like, a final little sketch like this. So I feel pretty good. I gotta go back and watch the cartoon show after this. It's making me want to watch it. Lower portion of his mouth. I kind of moved it around from my original line, which is over there. Upper portion of his mouth. It's gonna have that kind of V for the upper portion of his mouth. Lower teeth are pretty big. Makes them look a little goofier if I draw his lower teeth big like that. Like, er. Definitely clamping his teeth together. I am going to draw individual teeth, you know, here. Uh, normally if the character is smiling and his teeth aren't as big as this guy's, uh, I would not draw the lines, kind of the, the vertical lines. But since his teeth are so big and they're a pretty big part of his character, I am going to draw the vertical lines. And toward the corner here, I'm going to draw the gum line, you know, right here, because you'd be seeing the gum line. Just a small detail to remember. That butt chin. Draw the rest of his uh, darken the side of his jaw here, huge angular jaw. Now I'm gonna outdo the outline of his mask over here. It's really easy to go off model with this character. I feel. I mean, I know it's. Because it's just he's moving around so much, and his head is such a strange shape that I feel that it could be so it could go so wrong in so many areas. I know other people might disagree. They'll be like, "Well, he, you know, he's got such obvious features. It's pretty hard to mess it up." But I don't know. I just have that odd feeling. So okay, okay. Let me draw in his neck before I do his uh, antlers over here. Sternocleidomastoid, just an indication for it. And he's got like a monster, monster, monster neck. He's got a huge neck because that's part of the part of the character. He's a big dude, and uh, also he's animated that way. So let's let's cover his antlers here. His antlers, and I'm gonna do the quick shape over here. His, imagine like a cone. Let's say that's open, like a cup, with a sm like let's say with a smaller cup shoved into that cup. You know what I'm saying? Like a, like you're racking those cups there. And that's kind of what his his uh, antennae, whatever antennae are, uh, are kind of look like. You know, it's like one cup in another cup in another cup in another cup. Uh, but you know, in that formation right there, you know, kind of trick in that uh, they're making that overall arching shape. 
Let me. It's funny too because I have a very clear memory of drawing him as a child and I would always mess this part up. I remember that. I'm actually just going to sketch it out lightly before I put in really thick. And I don't really count the antenna. I know at the very end it's a little different. So now I'm going to darken it. When you're in doubt, draw it in light. Light enough for you to be able to erase it. And then you'll be able to kind of see it. You know, you kind of ghost it in. And you can see it then when you're sure that, that you know it's in the right position darken it. Just the easiest way to draw anything, you know, just pull back. And it's very easy. Alright, same thing on this side. Should I count them? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to count them, honestly. I just want them to fit correctly. So I'm not talking as much. I'm actually having to think quite a bit here on this one. Has anybody seen the Tick uh, TV show? Uh, I mean the live action one? Please uh, comment if you have actually. I'm very curious how many people have actually seen that. It was cancelled really quick so nobody really saw it when it was on the air hardly. But uh, I know it came out on DVD. It supposedly did okay on DVD, I had heard. But uh, please let me know if you've seen the live action Tick uh, TV show. Give me a holler. Give me a holler, guys. You gotta be out there. Alright, that's pretty much it. Let me, uh, I'm gonna look it over. I'm even gonna look at it through the camera. And I'm just gonna darken lines where I need to. Just darken certain things. Usually I darken around the eyes. I darken around the eyes and then I darken the contour normally of the whole the whole shape. Contour is the outermost line. Like if his whole if I was to paint black over every portion of his of his face here, contour would be the outer border of that. I'm just going to go over thick line because I feel like it, it contains the shapes inside. All right. That's about it. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, please uh, leave a comment below and let me know. If you did like this video, please share it. By the way, that really helps a lot. That's basically the same thing as like donating money, you know. And I don't even ha I don't even have like a donation thing. So please uh, share if you can, and uh, please subscribe. Forgot about that. <laughs> please subscribe on the corner. And I wish you guys luck in your drawing. And please let me know if you have any issues. Uh, you know, any drawing issues, I'd really like to help. Maybe post them down below, or you can send them to me in my inbox right here. And I wish you good luck, guys. Keep practicing. Thanks.